Hello everybody, we are here in Haifa with Yannick, Firmin. Yannick. And uh, what about this year for uh, Candy and Hoover? It's a uh, new year, new this acquisition can uh, be a win-win choice for uh, each brand. No? It's an acceleration. An acceleration. An acceleration. I mean, the leader for wide good appliances, for home appliances, has been acquiring Candy Hoover, which is a, an amazing opportunity for these uh, family-owned company in the past. I mean, in terms of complementarity, we have almost the same culture. I mean, Candy is very agile, very fast. Hire is made out of micro-enterprises here with a lot of entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship. We have a very good complementarity in terms of products, in terms of brands, in terms of innovation here. So I think we are getting to a better company across Europe. With Italian innovation too. You can bring Absolutely. the Italian innovation and culture worldwide and in China too, in the China market. Absolutely. I mean, Italy has been a leading country for home appliances for the past years, for the past decades. There is a real know-how in terms of design, the Italian design, for instance. But I mean, you have a lot of innovation as well, which has been born in Italy. So we have our headquarter here in Bulgaria. We have our development center, main development center as well in Bulgaria here. So we're taking full advantage of all the uh, innovation and know-how we can get out of this country. And what's the biggest news uh, here in, IFA, in IFA? I think the biggest news is really our ambition, probably on, in terms of IoT. Just imagine, you are marrying the leader in terms of uh, IoT and connectivity worldwide, okay. uh, higher, with a leader in Europe. I mean, we have 58 million connected users in China. We're very proud to have celebrated more than 1 million registered users in Europe here. So this wedding is making perfectly sense, but it will accelerate as well the creation of smart home and intelligent homes in the future. And you speak about three levels in the conference. You speak yes. about three levels of IoT Absolutely. technology. Could you explain? Of course. Oh. It's pretty easy. I mean, I don't have my phone here. But as I explained, I mean, the first level of IoT is when your phone is speaking with your appliance. And the example I'm always taking is you leave home. I mean, the weather is very hot, as often in Italy here. You want to have a cool temperature in your living room when you come in. You just turn your appliance on two or three hours before you come okay. in. That's one-on-one -on -one type of exchanges. After Users, uh, home appliance. Phone, phone, home appliance. But the real IoT is not that. The real IoT is when appliances start to speak with each other. Okay. And I think service. With I, I, service. Uh, no, that's, that's the third one. I mean, okay. just between each other. And the example is, for instance, a very nice appliance like this one, where the dryer would be speaking together with a washer. So I think the washer would give information to the dryer, and the dryer would, would dry perfectly according to the information here. That's the second one. The third level is when these appliances will be speaking with third parties. When these appliances will be ordering on its own detergent to Amazon. When these appliances will be ordering on its own, basically, spare parts or, or, or things like that. When your fridge will be ordering on its own, basically, food you will need in the future. Or when your TV will be ordering But this video videos. will be five years, <coughs> ten oh, years no, no, in no, your no. vision? In all fairness, the future is the present in China today. Ah, okay. The not future, so far future. Absolutely not. We're working, I mean, next year would be a great year for us. We're working on a very strong pipeline of project for Europe, which will be showing the strength of its ecosystem uh, in, the coming, in the coming years. So I think we have this. Of course, we are very innovative, very confidential projects. So we, don't, we want to keep this ammunition here, but we have a very strong pipeline here. And by the way, you mentioned Italy. We invested a significant amount of money in IoT since we made the candy acquisition. Ah, okay. So uh, we are here for this product. You, you yeah. say that this product can transform the in a laundry center the, the house. Absolutely. Uh, can you explain? Absolutely. I think that's what I, I would call absolutely product leadership. So it is really Mibi's product. The name of the product is? It's mm -hmm. a laundry center. Oh, okay. Laundry it's a laundry center. center here. On the bottom, you have a 13 kilogram washer dryer. Okay. And at the top, you have a 10 kilogram dryer here. So full of sensors. Absolutely, you have uh, loading sensors, I mean, UET sensors, stability sensors, fabric sensors here. So you push the button, you select, you select basically you, the, the, the problem, you push the button, the machine is doing the rest to get to an optimal result according to the load type you have, the fabric you have, and, and, and things like that. So it's absolutely product leadership here in terms of laundry. And we are live in Europe when? This one, I mean, we are working, we, it is in China today. We are, of course, testing our customers as well okay. at IFA today. We want to get some feedback here. 
at Lisa and it's ready to be uh, launched in Europe pretty soon. Okay, thank you. Very kind. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.